Hi, and welcome to the next lesson in SolarWorks Essentials. In this lesson, we're going to look at exercise 54, mates. So let's get into it. So let's get into the exercise 54 mates and if we start off we'll create a new assembly using the SOLIDWORKS templates and assembly MM. So you notice the open dialog box comes up so it's inviting you to insert your first part and that's going to be our rectangular base. So I click open on that and you should locate the two origins so the uh, origin of the part with the origin of the assembly. Um, so you should always do that, switch your, switch your base. You don't have to, but it's, you know, intention should be to locate the origin of at least one part to the origin of the assembly. Um, and it's nearly obvious here, you know, the first part you insert. So as I say, you can left click on the origin here, or you can click on the little OK logo in there. Just before I kind of do that as well, just make sure your graphics preview is turned on. And should your part come in and it's the incorrect orientation, you can always use these to flip the part around the X, Y, or Z axis. So I just click OK on that. We got our first part located. So you can carry on inserting components like this if you like, but it's well worth your while actually just opening up the, the location of your your uh, parts and if you've got a lot of parts to insert you can actually just drag and drop them from Windows Explorer so if I come along and just drag the brace in there so you can drag that brace in and we open up that little file again and we can use the end connect and drag that in like that as well so really handy for um, just inserting lots of parts fairly quickly. I need two of each of the parts so I'm going to just X out of that insert component command and I'm going to just hold my control key down and I'm going to create a copy of each of those. So it gives me two of each that I can now mate on the part and I'm going to kind of keep the, the same one so brace two and and connect, and connect two together and, and brace one and then connect together just for neatness on the part itself. So let's locate the parts. So I'm going to first locate this um, end connect part on the on the plate. So if I select my mate tool and I can just pick on that bottom face and then click on the top face and we can mate that. So with a coincident mate on that, I'm going to click OK on that. And then I can click on this face and this face. And you can see it's going to go in there. I need it actually on the part, so I'm just going to flip the mate alignment to throw it on. So it's another coincident mate, but if it comes in, it's the wrong way around. Just flip the mate alignment with that and click OK on that as well. And then finally, it's 10 mil in from this face and the end of that. So I just move it down just first and then select this face and And this face, and we're going to give it a distance, and this one's going to give it is 10 mil. So I turn the distance, and I'll create that and click OK to that. And the next one, then we're going to do line up the next and connect. So again, pick the same faces, so this face and this face, and then. And this face. Yep. That's it. And then flip the alignment again. And this one isn't isn't actually intended. It's the distance between the two. So just on that face and that face. And we put a distance then, and the distance is 135. So just enter that and click OK on that. Now I'm going to line up this, um, the brace, so I'll line up the first brace. And again, just a matter of mating them in, so that face with that face, and again just 
with the alignment. And in that face, with that face, and click OK. And what I'll do with the last one to center, center it, I'll actually make use of the planes and the parts themselves. So if I get the brace, so if you look here, the top plane of the brace and the end connect, the right plane of the end connect are running down. I'll just move that around so you can see that better. The right plane of the end connect is running down the center of that part. So we can use them to line up. So the brace was the top plane. And you can see we can line them up on the center using the planes. So click OK on that. And do exactly the same with the last one then. So it's this face and this face and a face and that face. Happy days. And then the planes again. So it's just minimize that a little bit and expand these two. So I get my top plane. Yeah, sorry, top plane. So it's a top plane on that one. And then it's, well, I say it's the right plane on this one, isn't it? Um, so you line them up like so. And click OK. And that's your part assembled and complete.